Whenever I think of the inner child, I see a vivid image of something that has left a warm, deep imprint in me forever. I picture myself as a little girl, maybe three or four years old, and I see myself in a village hut with lots and lots of different herbs around. There is such an aroma, and I see a man teaching me. And for many years, I forgot about that vision. But when I turned 18 years old, at that exact moment, at the moment of my birthday, that image reappeared. And I realized that it was my destiny to heal people. So I started looking for the person who had taught me as a child, who had guided me in dreams since I was a child. How was my happiness when I actually met this person? It turned out to be a spiritual teacher, a spiritual teacher who has guided me since past lives and in this life since birth. And you are also guided by your angels. You are also guided by those God beings who are responsible for you. Maybe I am an angel to someone else. Perhaps you haven't made friends with your angel yet. Imagine your inner child knows absolutely everything. You are born and you remember your purpose. But in the process of growing up, it all gets erased like a pencil with an eraser. And you as a child knew everything your soul wanted. And then we become adults and forget about it. Think back to yourself as a child. Your child now looks at you as an adult. How would she feel? When I did this practice with a group of my students at a workshop, I saw tears. The women were crying. Why? I think you'll understand now. Because a child has such ideas, no limitations, nothing. The child knows what she came into this world for. And an adult is restricted in everything at school, at the university, or at work. There is no freedom. Now look through the eyes of your child. Do you think she is happy now? I don't think she is. She looks and says, my God, what have you wasted your life on? Because you wanted to dance, because you wanted to sing and you wanted to paint and you wanted to love the world. Are you doing that now or not? You might be doing 10% of what your child wanted to do. Now the most important thing to remember is to realize what your child wanted. She is waiting. She is sitting inside and waiting for you to wake up. She says, wake up please let's have fun with you let's be joyful let's be happy if you want to make friends with your inner child think back perhaps you will remember as I did your childhood what was it like bright flashbacks what did your soul dream about I have a student who remembers the moment her soul entered a child's body imagine the moment the baby was born at that time, the soul flies around. As soon as the baby is born, the soul enters our physical body, and she remembers the moment and the purpose with which she came. If it's hard for you to remember, then my seminar, The Way to Yourself, will help us with this practice. We will definitely work on this, and you will remember your soul's purpose when it came into this world and what purpose you incarnate here on Earth. Believe me, when you know your purpose, your life will change dramatically. You will be totally different. You will have no problems at all making friends with your inner child. Why? Why? Because there is that angel inside of us, that inner child, that part of God, no matter what you call it, that we have to manifest in this life. It doesn't matter how old you are. Maybe you're 80. That is the most wonderful age to change everything. Or maybe you're 20. And now is the time to get things started. My dear, let's be friends with your inner child. Your assignment now is to remember what your child wanted. Look at yourself through the eyes of your inner child. What advice would she give you? And she will definitely give you advice. She will say something like, walk more, dance more, and remember that you wanted to write poetry? 
and you will sit down and write poems. Maybe they won't even rhyme. That's okay. But it will be a flight of your soul. It will be an explosion on those emotions you've been dreaming about for so long. And you will begin to come alive. Your inner child will start to come alive and breathe with a full breath. Do not forget that inside of you is that miracle, the angel who wants to make you happy. Make friends with your inner child. It is often difficult for us to cope alone, and it is so important to be in the company of understanding people. In our classes, the masters create a field of love, friendship, and mutual understanding where everyone will feel free and safe. Become a part of the field of love in our trainings and seminars.